Yo, what's up guys, this is uh, Chris, you got Matt here with another Cinema 4D tutorial on how to uh, have more uh, advanced lighting in your intros, animations and backgrounds. So what you what you want to what you want to do now is you're gonna like just do do the simple stuff and then like um actually so if you have a a network cube and then uh, then just have have that enough for like how you want the intro so say if you just using like for instance, say say something like this, just for like something simple with like a little room. What you want to do is you got well, yeah, I'm pretty doing this now, but you don't actually have to do this because well, it's just easier. We just show you um basically, say if you um Well, let's just put some text in and make it 3D, even though my computer's are lagging. So, like, say for instance, you've got, like, say for instance, you've got your text, like, down here. And, let's say you're trying to make a, like, a like the desktop background, right so that's like something which I was working on earlier. But basically, like, so if you do this here without, um, obviously it looks really simple. But, say so if we were to put some loading in and add something like simple this in here and let's see so if we were using this for, for a light and we had low, global illumination on you'll be, you'll be able to see how but this just like quick to try obviously it's not gonna be like no well, it's not gonna really be like that advanced but it's just just quick to show you guys how you can like have lighting in and you can have like different planes and all that type of stuff and like using that for for the light light in and basically so you can have so basically you can have your ca cameras moving all, all around it without having to like make sure it's all, all out of the camera so you basically you can keep it where it is and basically you can hide it from the camera. So what that's rendering now. Well as you can see here you can see the well you can see the massive light here. So what you what you're gonna to want to do is uh we well, don't need this but this to make it a bit easier. Basically like say if you had like red text with like reflection, you basically like a re reflection on, on the text from the light above. But what you, what you want going to do is you're going to select the light which you want, go to the, go to tags, cinema 4D tags, and then go to compose then, and then you're going when you do uh, uncheck scene by camera, and then say when you like have a camera here, and you like you have the camera selected, you should. You shouldn't be able to see the, the light above. You, you guys, I'm back, and uh, as you can see here, now that there's no, you don't ha actually have a light above, it's just like, it's that set to have uh, the, set to have the top color room lighter, and I'll see. So if you've heard around with that you can get get it to look as if like as if it's just just a room, but obviously this this quick tutorial, so and obviously you won't have all, all like the dark shadows, this is like literally like 
fastest, like, well, not the fast one, but a reasonably fa fastest to run how to uh, change your lighting. So, obviously, you can see here the text is like no lit up and you don't have a massive uh, light above. So, yeah. Well, obviously, you'd like to say if you watch the other tutorial on how to make a basic cinema 4G um, intro, you should be able to combine this tutorial with my first tutorial. So, I, well, will there be a link down below in the description? So, and don't forget to check out the other videos on the right hand side of the video and subscribe up top. And don't forget to check out my channel on top as well. So, yeah. Peace out guys, and don't forget to subscribe for more.